Hello everyone, welcome back to Tech Moments in which we're going to show you how to block torrents from your local area network. Uh, the hardware that we're going to use is the Unified Dream Machine. Where you can use it actually in any network that has a USG, Unified Dream Machine, UDM Pro, um, VXG server, and any device that can have a gateway controlled by the deep packet inspection in your network. The network controller that we're going to use is the one that is uh, included in the uh, Unified Dream Machine, of course. Like I told you, if you're going to use a USG, it can work. Uh, if you're going to use an XG server, if you're going to use a UDM Pro, or if you're using a Windows-based controlled network, you can do it too. Right here we have one controller, two access points, and a very simple setup for this testing scenario. Right here you're going to go to the settings. Uh, we're going to check that the controller version right here is the 512. Of course you're going to find, uh, by the time you watch this video, it is going to be uh, another version, but the essence of the procedure is exactly the same. Um, first of all, I have downloaded a uh, torrent client, I have downloaded a torrent and I have uh, limited the speed of the download so we can have time to see what happens each time we make a change to the settings in our network controller. Right here we have, uh, we see that it is uh, currently downloading and that it is connected to the network. So the procedure is very simple. We're going to go to the Internet Security tab right here in the settings of the network controller and we're going to go to Deep Packet Inspection and enable it. If it has already been enabled, you just go right here to the Restriction Definitions and create a new restriction group. Okay, so the first thing is you're going to uh, create a restriction group which has a very descriptive name. Okay, right here we're going to name it Torrent Blocking and we're going to click on Apply. Once we have created the group, we're going to go ahead and create a restriction for that group. Okay, so let's click right here in Restriction. Let's go up here to choose our group that we have just created. Then we're going to choose the category that we have many right here and we're going to choose peer-to-peer -peer networks. Now we're going to go to the application and we're going to choose that all the applications is okay for us. Then do not forget to go to enable this restriction. You're going to enable this restriction and you're going to want to block the traffic that is associated with this restriction. If you want, something very useful is that if you want to log events, Right here, you can enable also this option uh, if you have a very powerful machine, okay? Be careful with this because sometimes logging can uh, make uh, some of the devices a little slow. Right here, we see that we have uh, an active restriction, but that has not been assigned to any of the network. So that is our second step. Right here, we have restriction assignments for the network or for the wireless network. We're going to go ahead and choose wire network right here and we're going to assign a restriction to that network. It's something very important right here. You create, uh, you choose the network in case that you have many networks created and you're going to choose which one of the categories of the restriction group you're going to assign to that network. In this moment, our USG or uh, our gateway is going to receive and provision that restriction and as you can see for the traffic right here in this graph it has already taken place and it is blocking all connections regarding this mm, rule that we have engaged into our network okay let's try to make a little this faster let's remember that sometimes this may take a while to take place let's remember that this uh, is something that may take a few minutes in order for uh, for the router or the USG or the Unified Dream Machine to take place. Uh, let's fast forward a little bit to see if it, uh, if it actually um, got to block it. And as you can see right here, it has been successfully blocked. Let's remember that this client is currently connected to the LAN network, to the local area network, wired, okay? So let's do the same, exactly the same procedure for us, if you wouldn't, uh, for example, if you just want to keep your Wi-Fi network very, very um, reliable, 
that is something that you're going to want to restrict also in your network. So let's assign the same blocking restriction for the network for the Wi-Fi network. And this one is a client in which we are going to do exactly the same. And this one is connected to the Wi-Fi. And as you can see, it takes just a few moments for the restriction to kick in. OK, but what happens if this fails? What happens if you uh, create the restriction, assign the group, the local area network, and it doesn't work? Mm, something that you can do right here in the intrusion, in the intrusion detection system is that you can enable it. OK, remember that. Uh, you have to take into account which ones are the levels that you can have of protection in your network and that it will show you many, many options for each one of the categories that you can have right here. Let's remember that it doesn't have anything to do with the blocking the torrents. We're just going to show you what you can do right here as a plan B. When you block and you have the intrusion detection system active, you're going to be able to watch in the stats what has been the connections in your network to different places in the world that have been tagged as threats. Okay, right here we can see many connections that in this just few moments have been detected by the system and some of them are peer-to-peer -peer networks. So what you can do is just click on one of them and block that connection or you can identify better which one of the IP addresses in your local area network are being uh, used as targets for that uh, for that thread and you can block of course always manually this from your network controller as always thank you very much for watching this video once again we really appreciate your opinion and your subscription to the channel we hope to see you back soon in another tech moment bye